What's up party people, Android Stud here, and today I have the Pocophone F1, and it is running the Pixel Experience ROM. Now, you can get this ROM on XDA. I will leave a link down in the description. Also, in order to install this, you must do a few things, which is unlock the bootloader, and also flash a custom recovery from Twerp. T-W-R-P, not twerk. If you wanna twerk it, I'm good with it, but you gotta do a twerp, not a twerk. Now, a good friend of mine, Munchie, I'll leave links down to his videos where you he'll show you how to do this. He'll also show you how to install this Pixel Experience ROM on your Poco phone. Now, it's run the latest Android Pie. This is the latest one. A few things work on here that are pretty cool. The IR camera works, so face unlock is a go. You also get the Pixel three ROM or pixel three camera which has portrait night mode all those goodies but the one thing everybody wanted to find out is does the IR camera work on the pixel experience ROM simple answer yes so let's check it out we're gonna uh, lock this up so if I lock it up you see you need a code to kind of get in here boom right so all my fingers are here guys I'm not using the fingerprint there's four fingers on the right, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this and you're gonna see, boom, you saw that? Boom. I'll do it a little closer, boom. It is unlocked and you are good to go. The IR camera works now. It's pretty simple, you kinda just go into settings, you go to security and you wanna use smart lock and you gotta use a pin in order to use the trusted face but that is the IR camera working for the Pixel Experience ROM. Now, as far as the Google camera, now that works pretty good. You get all the goodies that the Pixel camera has. You get that night, you get that night sight. Forget bright sight. Shout out to Samsung. Nice try. And you also get the slow motion video. Now, I don't think the slow motion works that good, so uh, you guys be the judge of that, but night sight is excellent. Also, you get Google Lens, so if you wanna check out Google Lens as you take pictures of product and that good thing. Um, now, as far as the uh, camera, man, looks good. There's front-facing portrait of me chilling out in the room with my dolphin hat. There's a shot of my Yeti microphone as I'm getting ready to tape this segment. So, you get a lot of different features on here um, that uh, the Pixel, or the Poco phone camera doesn't really give you. I mean, the Poco camera has portrait mode on the rear and uh, rear and the front facing. So there's me hanging out, watching the Laker game, kind of doing all kinds of things. So the Pixel camera is excellent, but let me remind you, you have to flash a fix. There's a fix. There's a fix that you have to flash inside Twerp Recovery. So check out that link down below. It's real easy. You go into Twerp, you flash the fix, you repeat your you reboot your phone, you are good to go. Now, I don't think you can adjust a portrait blur on these pictures as you take here, so um, that is a no-no, but still a great camera. Now, everybody's gonna ask me, what's the benchmark on this? Because I know they wanna know what's up. Now, I'm getting 248 right here, 248,000 right here. Now, I usually get around 300,000 on the Poco phone itself with MIUI, as you see here. Let me go back to one of my other shots here. So sorry, let's go in here. Yes, sir, this is what I was getting on my MIUI with 10, okay? So MIUI, you're getting fast, almost 300,000. Some people are getting 308 with the eight gigabyte version of the Poco phone. So they're getting good performance on it, but it's still blazing fast. 248 is pretty legit, so. Um, not as fast as MIUI 10, but I think as this ROM matures and develops, I think it'll get faster. If it gets to 300, to me, that's pretty damn good. Now, you got some pretty cool things in here. If you go into display, you get your that you get that adaptive brightness. If you want to get into that, that's cool. Um, also, with your battery, you get a battery manager, so it kind of tells you um, the stuff that you're going in here. So if you go into battery here. You got a battery manager there, it kind of tells you what's up. It's kind of the same thing as the Pixel 3 XL. And I'll show you, I have the Pixel 3 XL. I'm gonna show you a comparison between the two phones. Um, now, as far as full, full screen YouTube, if you go into the tube, check out my boy Technically T, right? Now, if you wanna go portrait right there, you just hit that little button there. 
Now, if you want to get out of it, you're going to hit that little button again. And if you want to, you want to do full screen, it's a go. You're up all over the notch. Great look. Check out Technically T. He's got some good videos, man. Man knows what he's doing. YouTube works full screen. I'm not sure about video games, about, uh, you know, PUBG and all those uh, video games. So I'm not a gamer. So you're going to have to try that out when you get this phone. I'm not a PUBG guy. Maybe I'll download it and I'll leave a comment down below when I get to it. But also you got, you know, you got the, the normal stuff here with the volume slider. You're able to set your uh, volume to silent, to ring, to vibrate. So that's good to go. You're also able to pull up all your other stuff there. So that's a good, you get all your notifications there, like the Google Android action. So it's man, I'm telling you, it's pretty comparable. Let me get my my pixie, little pixie dust right here. And I'll show you, man, they're very similar. I got the pixel. As you can tell, you can see the pixel three on the right. It's got the notch, but you got you got the basic stuff here, man. If you go into here, it's the basic thing, man. It's the, almost the same thing. So this is the Pocophone Pixel experience rom this is the pixel 3 with the stock so that's the deal man it looks pretty much the same um you get the ir camera works with face unlock which hey on that pixel 3 xl you know what i'm saying and then you get you get the pixel camera which doesn't work as good as the the original pixel 3 xl but it does work pretty good so but leave a comment down below if you got any questions about the ROM, I'll try to answer them. Like I said, if you want to install it, check out my boy Munchie's video. Also, you got to unlock your bootloader and you got to install that custom torque recovery. And if you want to do that camera, uh, if you want to get that camera, your Pixel 3 camera working good, you got to flash that fix after you flash the ROM. I know it's kind of a lot of things you got to do to actually get the stock, but if you're somebody that wants to do it, then you could do it. That'll do it, man. I'm Android Stud. Catch me on Twitter or Instagram. Keep watching, man. Thanks for being part of people. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.